Hello, this is Marcin from Aikido Virtual Dojo with another video tonight and uh, actually in this video we will go a little bit back to the basics. Uh, we'll look at the stance in Aikido, the so-called Hanmi, which refers to, uh, to the fact that we s expose half of our posture of our body to, to the attacker. Uh, so we'll show you the Hanmi, how it is different from the stances in other martial arts, at least partially. And uh, we'll give you some explanation where it comes from, why, why we do this, why we ac adapted this stance in Aikido, and what are the advantages for our style, our martial art of doing it this way. So, let's have a look. So in Aikido we have a specific stance which is called Hanmi, which is a bit different from the, from the other martial arts. I mean, if you look at, uh, at the one in Karate, for example, should be kind of this one, from what I remember, or the horse stance that you can find in some martial arts. So in Aikido we, apply, we use the Hanmi position. The Hanmi, first thing, it's based on a triangle. So we have the two feet. Uh, the, back feet, the, the back foot is actually placed perpendicularly to our direction, to our axis. And the front foot comes in front. Where it can, when you bring the both feet together, actually the front foot will arrive in the center of the back foot. So this position creates a triangle. Uh, and this position gives us actually a lot of st stability on the axis front back. A little bit less probably to the side. Uh, and then if you are already in this position, so you have a triangle of the feet, the knees are slightly bent, and the hips are turned to open a little bit to the side, and the hands go in front. And actually in front is not in front of the body, but in front in the direction where I'm focused, where I want to go, where the stance is intended to go. So it's aligned with the front foot. And this way, on the axis front back, I can receive a lot of pressure and I can also e easily start moving to the sides or, or turning or advancing, stepping back and so on. So this is the basic position like this. So the Hanmi um, originally comes from a sword stance. And this is not the only sword stance uh, from other sword arts, particularly the Japanese sword arts, uh, but it is a basic one. And so we have taken this in Aikido. Um, and so if we look at this, actually, the origin of Hanmi here, um, again, as we said earlier, it's presenting half of the body. So instead of presenting a, a full body, which opens up the a larger target for uh, another person or the other, we give kind of a half body, okay? And in this way too, it's very strong from the front to back, like we said before. And again, this originates from a sword stance, okay? And from here, we see that the Hanmi is actually lined up in the direction with the sword. So it's very strong. And so the cutting of, when we do a cut, then the Hanmi actually supports that cut. So there's a forward energy, but it also supports from the back. Okay, so this is kind of the, the origin of it, and um, because of that, then we can, we can move in different ways. Uh, we can pivot in different areas with the sword or without the sword. Okay, so when we do this without the sword, then it's the same thing. We have a very strong front, very strong back, and we can change and pivot that. But at the same time, because of this particular front, back, linear kind of stance, we might be a little bit weak from the sides. So this might be maybe what we could say is one disadvantage of Hanmi, but again, at the same time, we can always change the position quite quickly. So the Hanmi is used in this way because uh, we have, um, in many cases, a lot of this kind of linear uh, positioning at certain points. Um, again, you know, we might move around and move in, in spirals and circles, but we will usually begin uh, either in Hanmi uh, or we will eventually end up in Hanmi at some point. We said already before with Durward that this position Hanmi uh, provides a lot of stability and resistance to pressure in the front-back axis. 
So there are also a few exercises you can use to check if your hand is correct, if you take the correct, if you have a correct posture, if you take the correct position, the stance. So one of them would be, for example, if I just ask Durward, so I place myself in the hand position, and I ask Durward just to push me, to check if I can resist his pressure here. He can try to push me as much as he can. If I'm in the right hand me, if I'm in the correct position, I can keep a lot of pressure here. And the important thing is also is if he releases, I don't want to fall forward, right? I'm not pushing against him, actually. So pushing against him would maybe look like this. If I push against two words, as soon as he <laughs> removes the pressure, uh, I, I fall into this space that is provided. But if I just take the correct position, hand me, accept this pressure, but without pushing back, I'm supported, kind of supported from the ground, from the back, which is also explained in some other videos we've made before. And if he wants to release this pressure, I will just stay here. I will not move. OK? Another exercise that uh, can test your position hand me is uh, a follow-up to the Katate Dori Taino Henko movement. So if you look at the Katate Dori Taino Henko, I will just enter. And actually, I finish again in the hand me position. And I can ask now Durward as well to test my front back axis if I'm stable here. He can use the hand. He can try to push me. He can try to pull me. I don't move normally if I have the correct position. And uh, he could also come and, and push my chest. It's also pos a possibility here. OK, so hope you liked this explanation and the exercises. You can try it on your own in your dojo or at home, asking someone to help you. And see you in the next video. See you soon. If you like our video, give us a thumb up and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to receive notifications about new videos being published. More information is available in the channel description as well as through the links section.